Hello and welcome to Tektronix. Today I'm going to walk through how to perform a firmware upgrade on an MSO 5000 series oscilloscope. The procedure for updating the firmware on this scope and any other Windows 7 scope is the same. Download the firmware from our website, transfer it to the scope, and run the executable file. To find out what version you currently have installed on your scope, open TechScope, go to the Help menu, and click About TechScope. The firmware version is shown at the top of the pop-up window. The most recent firmware for our scopes is available on our website at www.tech.com and can be found using the search bar. Go to the search bar at our website and type in the scope series you want, which in the case of this example is the MSO 5000 series, and type firmware afterwards and press enter or click go. Look for the most recent or the highest numbered firmware. In this case, the newest version is 6.8.1. Follow the link and click Download File. This download link will be unavailable if you don't have a Tektronix account or if you aren't logged in. I'm going to save the firmware to my flash drive. The firmware for Windows 7 scopes is fairly large and will take a while to download depending on the speed of your internet connection. Make sure your flash drive has enough space to hold the firmware. On your Windows scope, you may also need to make sure that your hard drive is fully expanded, which can be done using the following procedure. On the desktop, right-click on My Computer, select Manage, click Disk Management, and in the lower part of the window, you will see the partitions of the hard drive. If there is an unallocated partition next to the partition that contains the C drive, right-click on the partition that contains the C drive and select Extend Volume to restore the unallocated partition to the C drive. Follow the prompts in the wizard to finish the extension. My scope's hard drive has already been fully expanded, so I won't do anything here. Next, plug in your USB drive into your scope and copy the firmware onto the desktop. Again, transferring this file could take some time, so I've already done that and have the file on my desktop. Make sure the TechScope application is closed before moving on. Run the firmware executable file and follow the instructions. The update should take between 30 and 40 minutes, and during this time the scope will reboot multiple times. Be sure not to interrupt the installation process. Upon successful completion of the installation, TechScope will be launched automatically and you can use the scope normally. Thank you for watching our video. If you'd like to learn more about our products, please visit www.tektronics.com support.